Hey everyone, welcome back to Tiny Messy Kitchen. And tonight for my dinner, I'm going to be making a baked risotto with roasted vegetables on top. So I've already started prepping the vegetables and we have sweet potatoes, red bell pepper, and broccoli that are going to be our vegetables today. And you roast those while you're doing the rest of the, of the dish. So I started the sweet potatoes first and roasted those for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to add the other things since these do not take as long to cook as the sweet potatoes do. So I added olive oil to the pan and I'm also going to add some salt and pepper before I toss it back in the oven. And the oven is preheated to 400 degrees. When I'm roasting vegetables, whether it's for this recipe or any recipe, I usually try to roast them for about 10 minutes, then toss, 10 minutes toss until it's all cooked. Um, that way, you know you're not getting anything that's sticking to the pan, and you know that you can get an even roast all the way through your baking process, your roasting process. Back in the oven it goes. Now, while it's in the oven, we're going to start the risotto. So for that, you need a, a big pot. This is called a Dutch oven, uh, but you need a heavy pot that will be able to go into the oven as well. So you start on the stove, but then you bake it in the oven. I'm going to turn it on medium heat. I'm going to add some olive oil to the bottom of the pot here. Okay, so this is warming up a little bit, so I'll add the white onion. Okay. This recipe usually uses white wine uh, to deglaze the pan. We don't have any today, so we're not going to be using that, but that's okay. Uh, you can leave it in. It does add some body, but uh, it is okay if you want to leave it out for kids or anything. You don't taste the wine, but in case the original recipe uses wine, and if I had it, I'd be using it. And I found white wine, so we're going to be using the white wine. Forget what I said, we're using the white wine. While we're letting the onions cook, I'll talk to you a little bit about arborito rice, if you've never heard of that. It looks kind of like pasta, and it is pasta, but it's small and thin. And most of the time when you hear of risotto, you think, I'm going to have to be standing by the stove all day long, stirring and stirring and stirring, and typically that's the case. But this one is a shortcut where you start it in the oven, oops, start it on the stove, bake it in the oven and it will bake all the way through and you don't need to be stirring the pot the entire night. So uh, this is a great shortcut if you want risotto but don't want the time of stirring all over the stove. And you can buy arborito rice pretty much anywhere. Any grocery store typically carries it. I would say probably in there. Now that this is hot, we'll cook it one, one more minute. Now that these onions have been sauteing for a couple minutes, would add the arborito rice. So you need three fourths of a cup. Okay, stir it so that the olive oil gets around the rice. And now we're going to add the wine part of it. Just a fourth of a cup of wine. Don't worry, you're cooking that alcohol off right now. And to this, you're going to add two cups of vegetable broth. Stir everything together. And we're waiting for this to come to a boil again. And after it's come to a boil, we will put a lid on it and toss it in the oven. While we're waiting for it to come to a boil, we'll add some salt and pepper. And if you don't keep vegetable broth at your house all the time, which not everybody does, you can use hot water with this recipe and it's just fine. So don't feel like you need to get vegetable broth or chicken broth or anything like that. You can use water and you're okay. It's coming to a full uh, rolling boil now. So 
Uh, we're going to shut off the stove. We no longer need the stove for the rest of this recipe. And we're going to put it in the oven. And this bakes for about 20 to 25 minutes. Basically, once 20 minutes have passed, check it. And if all the liquid has been absorbed, then you know you're done. And if it still has a ways to go, you can put it back in the oven until it's fully absorbed. And these veggies are going to roast the rest of the way with this dish. But the pot goes on the middle, crack it, and we'll toss these up and put them back in the oven on the top shelf. Okay. Okay, and we'll let those uh, roast or bake for about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. We're going to check the status of our rice here. Okay. Oh yes, okay, so you can see all of the liquid has been absorbed and uh, it's sizzling, so that is a sign that it is completely done. We'll turn off the oven and our veggies actually got done a little bit, uh, few minutes beforehand, so we covered them with foil and they're just resting there. First thing we're going to add to make this extra luxurious is just a little bit of butter. One tablespoon is fine. And the second thing we're going to add is Parmesan cheese. And because it's not totally silky smooth like I want it to be, I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, or not vegetable oil, vegetable broth. So I'm adding just a few tablespoons of vegetable broth to really make it more luxurious and nice. See how that adds it so it's not as dry. Okay, and that really breathes some more life into it. So if you've overcooked your pasta or if it just doesn't look as pretty to you, now a few more tablespoons of vegetable broth or hot water. So to plate this up, I usually do a big bowl. I do a few scoops of this. That's my base. And then as many vegetables as you can fit on here. And I find that you want to do more vegetables than you think because I always like to do a bite of the rice with a bite of the vegetables and vice versa. Okay, and that is your quick Monday night dinner. Thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you guys tomorrow.